I, I want. Uh, Claude's back in the kitchen now. I entered. With some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, devil. With a beautiful <laughs> chicken cacciatore. And what are these little tomatoes on our. Napkins. Yeah, I just this thought. It's too cute. Look at that. A little place. Attention setting. to detail. They're from little your garden, Cloda. Huh? Are these from your garden? They're not from my garden. Oh. I should have brought. You know what? The pumpkins, the pumpkins, the tomatoes that I've got growing in, in my greenhouse at the moment, they look like pumpkins. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And oh, did you know, it's a fun awesome. fact, in Italy they call um, tomatoes um, the apple of love. Pomodoro. Makes sense, doesn't it? Makes right. sense. It makes sense. OK, I'm cooking chicken cacciatore. Mr Leary Hello. is a big fan of this recipe. I am. It's a great and, recipe. And you're using thighs, not breasts. I'm Always. using chicken thighs because they're lovely and juicy. Right. So I'm searing them off at the moment. This is a one and done. It is Friday magic because there's less wash-up. You can do everything in one dish. It looks summery, but it's hearty and everything. So I'm searing off the chicken. Good, isn't it? with salt yeah. and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Mm, and then yeah. you take it out of the dish in here. So using the one dish. And look at all that gorgeous flavour in there. Smell it. Oh, my God, it's so good. When you get chicken golden and, like, crunchy like that... The smell is insane, seven. isn't it? Yeah. So it does two things. It brings texture, brings flavour when you sear it like this. But it seals in all of the juices and everything like that. And then next I'm putting in onion and garlic. So I'm putting in the onion and So the you garlic. just use those juices... And just put the onion in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I love it. And then all the onion will just like soak up all the juices of the chicken and love. the little, you know, the little chicken skin bits that get a little it's bit. It's just like an old in. hunter's recipe or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, the lads are coming from, you know, it? yeah, hunting and they, cook, they do whatever they catch. Initially. Like the, yeah, and then they, cook, they cook this up. Yeah, love. that's exactly what it was. Delicious. Did you read that on um, on the web this morning? Because I did the same thing on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I didn't. But I did read it on the web you knew after it I started making after after doing your recipe. I was like, "What well, the origin to this? It's so interesting." Yeah, it's so because you're right. It's so lovely. It's sort of you can do it in the winter and come in from a cold day. It's lovely yeah. with that little bit of chili. With some mashed well. potato. Exactly. But then it's quite summer. It's quite light as well. Do you think cacciatore has something got to do with catch something? Catch, catch something. Yeah. Cacciatore. See, I know you can do... That's I... the way I remember it. I just think of cacciatore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When in doubt. Cacciatore. <laughs> and then you've got it. Chicken cacciatore. Yeah. Um, and then I'm putting the chicken back in on top of the sautéed <laughs> onions and garlic. Um, and you could do this with lots of other different meats as well. But chicken is definitely... I've tried it with a few other different meats like pork and beef. But it's the chicken that is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. OK, and then next goes in the red wine, if there's any left. I'm only kidding. I only had one tiny, tiny, tiny sip. This stage is just my natural <laughs> way of life. <laughs> Would you not put a non-alcoholic wine in there? No. <laughs> Sorry. Dry. <laughs> no. OK. <laughs> but the thing is, is that the alcohol evaporates, so we get all the great flavour of the mm. wine in there. Um, no, but if you didn't want to, I mean, serious note, if you didn't want to use alcohol at all in there, and I totally understand, you could just put in extra chicken stock. You right. could use red or it does, add, it does add something, though, to, to it, though, doesn't it? It, doesn't, it definitely like... does. But, you know, if somebody was trying to cut down an alcohol or it didn't yeah, want but, like, there's no alcohol, alcohol in it. It doesn't like it, actually. But also, it gets cooked off, so there's no alcohol exactly. there in the end. There's no I? alcohol in yeah. there, but you could use complete chicken stock. I've used red wine, but if I have leftover white wine, I'll use white wine, so you could use red or white. And then I'm It doesn't putting... matter, no? It doesn't matter, really. I mean, the so flavour is the a little bit different, it? but it's the sweetness, yeah. So, and then I'm putting in canned tomatoes. I'm putting in plum canned tomatoes, but you can put in chopped ones or cherry ones. Cherry ones are my favourite. And then you just squeeze them down. And then you put in some chilli. That's what you're tasting. That and that's what I can taste, and I love the kick. Love the chilli. Mm. But it's not too much. I don't mm. know what you've done, but it's not overpowering. Just a little bit of heat, isn't it? Yeah, it's really perfect. What you put, how much do you put know. in there? I think I've one teaspoon in for that amount. Yeah. The chili do you flakes... know when you did that dish and it literally blew our heads off? <laughs> I know! Do you remember? We, were... we had to try and style it out because we were on the telly. Yeah. We were like, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, you didn't say it was fine. <laughs> you were like, you my head off! <laughs> this is perfect today. Thank you, Floda. It's one teaspoon and, there, and then I'm putting in the lovely mm. olives as well. So you're getting all these delicious flavours of chilli and olives and the wine mm. and You don't have to, because I'm, I'm just going to say a very improperly thing. Yeah. I don't like olives. I love not? olive oil, but I don't, I've never, I've never got like a taste olives? for olives. So, okay. Vibes, you're OK. I know, right? <laughs> so Do you like them in that dish? No, I don't put them in it. Oh, you so would have put them in. There? Are you pushing them to the side? So, you, like the so you have to acquire the taste. Oh. I know. You have to keep going until you like them. Well, I never That's what I did. That because if you keep going, if you don't like something, but you keep going until you do like it, like well, well you did that with beer. 
Surely you didn't like that when you were a kid. Well, that was like eight. <laughs> okay. That's true. <laughs> and then it's salt, the of, same concept. salt and pepper, salt and pepper, a little bit of rosemary <laughs> or something like that, and then you cover it for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to cook. And then you add in the cannellini beans. And yeah. the cannellini beans are delicious. If you've never yeah. used cannellini beans before, they cost less than a pound in the supermarket, probably about 60p. Canned, you rinse them, drain them, stock up on them because I add them into everything. Everybody in my house is probably really sick of them because I put them into salads. But I put that's them into your carbs, isn't like it? That. It's fibre magnesium and vitamin C. It's really good for your heart, really That's good really for slow-releasing energy. Brilliant for you guys, because you are like, you know, you've got a really intense... Thoroughbreds. ...hours, you know, of work day. Stallions. To be really Just good for you slow guys. Slow-release. In the slow Slow-releasing energy. It's really good. And they're so <laughs> tasty! So you pop them in there, they just need to heat through a little bit. And that... that Loda, why are they so tasty? Do they soak up the flavour? Is that they what it is? They soak up all the flavour, and they're just delicious, and they're... You know, they're a real big part of the Italian cooking culture, but I feel like we don't use them enough. Well, the thing is, I probably wouldn't have them... Like, they need to be in something, don't they? Yeah. Or you could warm them up with a little bit of olive oil and crush them with some garlic and rosemary and serve with lamb. That is good. OK. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That I'm going to sing you a song. Delicious. Do la val americano, americano, americano. And you put a nice little salad with I'll that. I'll go to <laughs> Now, and then they were supposed to play the music, but they didn't. Oh, don't worry. And yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, I serve it up with a green salad. You can <laughs> Hang on a minute, what? Were you supposed to play some music there, the, of that song? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Coda. The, the okay. message didn't get through. Oh, they didn't get the memo. Didn't get the sorry, memo. darling. I'll be back again next week. <laughs> <laughs> and yet they can find that. Um, <laughs> the flavours are gorgeous. It's summery, but it'll also bring you into autumn. And when it comes to autumn, your idea of serving it with rice. Yeah. Be gorgeous. A bed of white rice or mashed potatoes. Or mashed potatoes. It's entirely up to you. Buttery. Entirely up to yeah. you. Yeah. But I love it. Potatoes. This is delicious. I've had every last bit. Look, it's I've good. Had it's good. Some of mine. I did. <laughs> and you nicked one of my chickens. Uh, for details <laughs> of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our wonderful chefs like Cloda, uh, download our free this morning. This morning Cloda, at thank you. It was delicious. Still to come.